Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Esper Charm, and this charm has gone up, but more about the uncommons from older sets that you may have had. It is unrealistic. So this card started at 28 cents, and now it is four dollars. It spiked from one dollar seventy-five to four dollars, which is a pretty good spike. But I always am not concerned about that price point. I'm concerned about the price that when you are drafting the card in standard, how much they cost. Well, it costs 28 cents, and then you can probably buy list it at the time for maybe 5 cents, probably under 5 cents. And you always have that choice to keep your cards, keep the cards that you drafted, keep the cards that you played in your decks, or to sell them for pennies on a dollar. As I see the game grow, the choice is always keep them. Because maybe you have a new format like Frontier, maybe there is a... Uh, more interest in the card due to a modern deck that peaks. Overall, our EDH. EDH is also a good outlet for these cards to go up in price. The general consensus I have is if you have an old card like a charm, which is semi good, keep it. Just keep it because one day it will be worth $4. It seems to happen to a lot of cards. And logistically speaking, it doesn't have to happen to all of them. Even if it only happens to one charm, the fact that this charm has gone from $0.28 cents to $4.25, that's enough to cover all the charms, right? So for uncommons, especially uncommons that you know are part of a cycle, like charms are very obvious. Uh, someone in the comments below lists your favorite cycles from the new set. But there are certain cycles that you know will be played in EDHs that you know have some modern possibility, I don't mean that it will be playable every time, but possibility to be played in modern and can experience a price spike like this one, which went up to $4.25. So overall, keep your bulk, keep your uncommons that are part of a cycle. People like cycles. Uh, when you look at the Esper Charm, I knew one day this day card would be over $2. And it is over $2 now. It's even over $4. Let me know in the comments below if you have a similar experience. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What other cards are you looking at in terms of cycles? So if you're a player right now in Standard and you're looking at cards that rotated out, Frontier is kind of a weird thing that's happening, but you can get these cards that rotated out for the cheapest price point they can be. And at that point... At the point that you're playing standard, you can either sell them for pennies on a dollar or you can keep them and then hope one day they quadruple or it looks like this one went up in price quite a bit. Anyway, leave me a comment below if you agree or disagree and what cards you're currently stocking up on in the current standard. Bye guys.